I can't help but think about those young activists in 1981 that came together to start Stonewall Columbus and build this center. The mission statement for Stonewall when it started in 1981 was to just increase tolerance. As we got into this campaign and this project, we realized that Stonewall today is all about thriving. We are raising $3.5 million to renovate and expand the Center on High. Our Pride celebration is by far our most visible weekend. But after the Pride celebration, we lose that visibility because of the Center as it stands today. The buildings that we have today are awesome, but way behind back in the tolerance days. <laughs> and there were people in the community that had the foresight to say, you know what, this is, a, this is gonna be a very valuable piece of property and it can become a real significant asset to our community. It's really going to energize this space that exists there now and will allow us to expand the programming significantly to all kinds of folks that um, we currently aren't in a position to serve. Columbus has always been a proud partner with Stonewall Columbus. The city not only is, an, is a primary investor uh, and we're putting our taxpayer dollars in the belief of the LGBTQ community by investing in Stonewall, but also em embracing its renovation and expansion, especially in a prime location like the Short North. We ought to have a Stonewall that reflects the growth and dynamic change in this community. We've been protecting and offering protections uh, to folks in the LGBTQ community for decades, far before other cities uh, across the country. We believe that Stonewall uh, and that expansion is going to better serve our community as we continue to grow into the future. We're going to continue to be a, an opportunity city. We have to make sure that every single resident in our community has an opportunity to be able to thrive and to grow and to help our city be the best that it can be. The LGBT community is so important to our city moving forward. I love Columbus because it is that city that celebrates its diversity, that thrives off its diversity, and we are the better because of it. Uh, it's just a, a real reflection of the Columbus community at large in terms of who's supporting this project. It's very important that the community be involved in, in the progress of Columbus. And it's been years in the making, and so oftentimes I think we forget how much work, tireless hours, this, and I'm bringing my daughter around. We can say, look at what we built. Many people that gave to the campaign had never even been here before, didn't even know about the impact that we have on the community. We were friend raising as much as we were fundraising, and I think it was a really important way to, to connect to people. A lot of folks knew about Stonewall through Pride, but we got an opportunity to share all of the things that Stonewall does, and in every case, we walked away from those meetings where they were pretty fired up about even having the chance to, to be a part of this project, to be a part of this building. The center is about being an anchor and a home for many in the LGBTQ community. It's about linkage. We're smack dab in the middle of one of the biggest areas of Central Ohio, and uh, we will be quite visible. And that's always been the key component of Pride, was to um, you know make a statement, make sure that people knew that we were a large contingency and that we had a purpose and meaning um, for the Columbus community, the state of Ohio, the nation. We are thrilled to have Pride uh, back in the heart of the city, and I don't think uh, there's a better illustration out there than our welcoming, accepting, uh, and celebrating uh, through our Pride Festival in downtown Columbus. It is at the heart of our great city, a city that is so progressive and supportive of this community. And really, uh, it would give us a chance to expand. We will turn on the lights to let everyone know that in Columbus, equality is our banner and that we're going to make sure that we shine it bright throughout entire Pride Week. There is no way we could put this Pride on without that kind of support. And that's what makes this such a special year. With the new Stonewall builds, we're going to have a beautiful new community center to make even more change in our community. We're going to come here for all kinds of events, classes, programs. It will be a gathering place for the city. 
renovating the center is definitely going to give us that visibility that we want 365 days a year because that's what Stonewall's about. We are here for our community 365 days a year and we want everyone to know it.